Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another week of the Youth Podcast. This is week 10. Week 10. And we are really making it special because <laughs> you may notice that we are in um, different settings than we usually are. And I just have to say, uh, I really just have to call out Josh for a second because clearly this is not where we usually are and clearly this is not the usual setup and clearly Josh has had to put all this together in the last, what, half an hour? Yeah, something like that. Because um, technical difficulties, folks. But we're ready real. to go now. Yeah, so, we're so ready. And yeah. you know what? This is going to be a great episode. It really Absolutely. is. I'm excited about it. Yeah. So, and if it looks like we're looking kind of weird, like looking here <laughs> and then looking over there, it's I'll, okay, I'll post a picture here of uh of what our studio looks like right now our studio it's like the lunch room yeah yeah at church uh but we're ready for a great podcast yeah it's gonna be great um it's a little bit different than what we usually do actually because normally we would go into a um, sermon summary and kind of talk with the person who taught at youth last night which is david and by the way he did an incredible job it was a really really great message don't be sticks yeah, and if you want to know what that means, you should definitely go watch the message because mm-hmm. it was great. You should watch it anyways. It was just amazing. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that today, so it's fine. Uh, we're actually going to go over our both of our top five moments from youth from the past year. Because for those of you who don't know, Josh is going on sabbatical next week next week which is crazy yeah. super exciting for him sad for the rest of us <laughs> uh no it'll be fine no but so we thought you know what this past year has been crazy it has been uh really really good moments but also some very hard moments mm-hmm. and we thought what better way to kind of hit podcast number 10 to kind of close out this year of being online and just before Josh goes on sabbatical, then talk about some of our positive favorite things that happened. So these are going to be moments that happened with students, moments that happened between leaders, or it could be a favorite game or a favorite teaching series, or it's really just going to be good a moments. Smorgasbord, yeah, exactly. I think is what they say. Across the board, <laughs> open to anything. Uh, so we'll kick it off. Yeah. Josh, with number five, yeah. take it away. All right, so my number five... Uh, I think represents this like great moment of like pivoting, right? We've been talking about that, how we keep kind of having to pivot and roll with the punches. And uh, in, at Christmas time, right before Christmas, we were scheduled to have our high school Christmas party and we had our junior high party the week before. And then we were kind of like asked to, to remain offsite or, or do something different instead of coming in the building the night after for our high school Christmas party. And so we did like this Christmas drive-in thing where we had students come and join us like in the the portico, whatever you yeah. want to call it, at uh, <laughs> underneath like the main entrance at, at North Park. And we had some inflatables and like like inflatable snowmen and leaders came and we gave away like a little a little goodie pack or whatever. And it was just really great to like see people. And again, like it was really representative of this like pivot that we continue to have to do. And we were doing up until now, like it's been a year and we continue to pivot. Everyone continues to pivot. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of it so far. I think so. I yeah. think so. Yeah. So that's my number five. Yeah, I love that. That was a great night. It was mm-hmm. very cold, but yes. it was a very It was very, night. very cold. I think I still have some of those packages in my oh. office, actually. Oh, yeah, that's right. The hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> and the chocolate bars that were slightly expired before yeah. you put through the packages, yeah, 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 and now yeah, yeah. we're yeah. super yeah. expired, but yeah. it's fine. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so my fifth one, my yeah. number five, was way back. We're going to take it back to last summer. Mm when we did the time alpha series i know um <laughs> when we did the alpha series with all the youth i just in general love doing the alpha series mm-hmm. i think it's fun to go well not fun i think it's really well in some ways it is fun to go through it like as myself for yep. myself personally but i also think it was great to go through with our students mm-hmm. because it opened up some conversations and like they were asking some questions and so it was cool to just kind of hear from them because I think the Alpha series is just so great with helping you dive in even deeper, no matter like where you are in your faith. I yeah. think technically it is for like newer Christians, but like I grew up in a Christian home and it still makes yeah. me ask questions and I still learn things. For so sure. I just love that series personally, but also it's really fun to go through it. Yeah. with students yeah and i also just really loved the snack videos that we did with it so i good. thought it was such a great so idea good. to do that all together yeah. and i know olivia did most of them i think i helped her film a couple of them 
Um, and maybe I did like one or two at the end, but they were just really fun to put together, mm-hmm. really fun to do. So I really enjoyed just all of the alpha series. I yeah. thought it was great. And it was like one of the, again, like talking about pivoting and I will probably, I'll probably use that word like 60 million times. <laughs> so, cause uh, that was the whole year. <laughs> yeah. uh, but like we, we've never done summer programming before. And so no. to do summer programming for the first time and yeah, alpha is so good. It's just to revisit the basics. I learn something new every time. Uh, it's, it was really well done and the snacks were, were awesome. That was such a, great. such a great, uh, uh, what is it called? Like a little point of emphasis, you yeah. know, like it was, yeah, it was <laughs> yeah. awesome. Um, okay. So are you ready for my number four? I am so ready. Uh, and for a little, um, what's the word under, under, uh, like undercurrent. And, and no, what what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, behind the scenes. Okay, That's the word go. I'm looking for. We got to this point the first time. And then we were having so many technical difficulties. Yeah. We were like. Uh, let's just go to the church. I think this is our third time. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, okay, so and I've lost my list now. I just, I just deleted my list. You'll never believe this. How no. did I do this? I, lo- I lost it. It's go- oh, here we go. I, I did a new note. <laughs> Pivoting. Oh my Pivoting, goodness. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So number four uh, for me were the Devos that we began right at the beginning of COVID last yeah. April. Uh, Olivia really like took them on and uh, and just made them really special. But Hannah joined in to, to build this like really unique community for students. And it was really neat to see the way that some of our students interacted a little bit differently kind of than we've ever seen them interact before to hear their thoughts on scripture and to and to be able to pray together and and that type of idea and so yeah it was just a really neat thing to like start off I, I was thinking about that like the first thing that we did really was were these devos and yeah. uh, I thought yeah. they were so well done and it was it was a really great like foundation to set for our kind of like online journey going forward hmm. yeah that's a great way to put that thank wow. you Thanks. I feel like I don't even Appreciate need to it. say my fourth one now. That was just <laughs> great. Um, no, but on that note, because my fourth point kind of includes that as well, but I really just enjoyed um, the different ways that we got to interact with mm-hmm. students over the year, which one of those was through Devos yeah. because we got to kind of have, like you said, like new conversations mm-hmm. and yeah, just hear things from students that we otherwise wouldn't get to hear from them. Yeah. <clears throat> sorry um and also things like with junior high sunday mornings hopping in there and being able to break off into the breakout rooms and have a deeper discussion yeah and even some things with our regular programming too i just feel like it being online provided opportunities for us to engage in different ways for sure even just like the chat on youtube yeah. like i feel oh, like it's so just, fun like we got to know different students that we might not have talked to before and it's just it's been a cool to yeah. engage with students in different ways sure. so i think that would definitely be um yeah the number four. Oh, awesome my other point about that was because i i'm an admin person so i yeah. oftentimes am working in the office so mm-hmm. like for junior high on sunday mornings a lot of times i was just up there to do attendance yep but now i really got to engage with those junior highs that i don't usually get to talk to so yep. yeah it was just it was it was fun to yeah. just kind of engage with people in different ways and i'm excited sure. to continue doing that Hopefully, even if we come back online or when we come yeah. back online, I should say, yeah, yeah. Uh, or in person, not online. Right. We're already online. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, but hopefully when we come back in person, we'll be able to kind of implement these new ways and keep it interesting yeah. and engage, engaging with people in new ways, yeah. even in person. Yeah. So, I, I mean, not to, not to like add too much to that, but like Trivia Tuesday, it's been yeah. like a diff- different thing because it's like a, another unique like online thing that we've been doing and and like you're saying like interacting with people in different ways Mm -hmm. and i think even if we're on site for our normal youth programs there's still space for like some of those interactions with students so yeah yeah i i like that one for sure well thanks (laughs) um are you ready for my number three i am ready excellent all right so my number three i think was this past january i think it was january maybe it was beginning of february but um i got my neighbor ryan involved (gasps) yeah in in a game (laughs) Uh, so my neighbor Ryan lives a couple of doors down and we're re- like really close with him and his family. And so I said to him at one point, like, Hey, what do you think about running a game with me for our junior high or sorry for our, uh, our, our youth program on Wednesday nights? And he was like, yeah, like anything. And, and like, it was totally out of the blue. He, he doesn't really have any church background or anything, but he's always up for like trying new things and, and doing that type of thing. And so we played a game where I like, you know, we had students ask what if he had something in his home and he goes in and comes out and he either has it or doesn't and it was just a ton of fun if you haven't watched that you might have to go back like a couple months 
Uh, I don't remember what week it was, but it was pretty early on in January this January or year. February. Yeah, yeah. Of 2021. It was either yeah. the end of January or beginning of February. So go back and watch it. It was a ton of fun. It was super fun. It was fun yeah. to watch. It was just funny too. Yeah. Like it was He's a really funny guy. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was great. Well put together. Yeah. Well edited as thank well. You. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your number three? So my number three is I feel like something we only well, okay, I'll just say what it was. So we've done it a couple of times and it is doing deliveries. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. last year, Olivia and I did it for some of the grads, I think was the first. Oh no. I think we did leaders first. Yeah. Anyways, needless to say, <laughs> we've done a lot of deliveries over oh, the yeah. past year. Yeah. So Josh did some of them and Olivia and I have done them. And I, t- I brought Cody along with me last time. I should say I dragged <laughs> him along with me because I was like, you're coming, you're helping me. <laughs> but no, it was super fun. I, I mean, I just enjoy driving, so right. it was fun to go around the city. But I don't know. Is it weird to say that it was kind of fun to see where students no, live? Yeah. Like, it was cool to see. I'm like, oh, like, this is where yep. you live. Like, this yep. is what you do. This yep. is, like, your life. Like, it was, mm-hmm. it was kind of fun to see, I don't know, just that little bit more into students' yep. lives a little bit. And then sure. with some of them, not on our most recent deliveries, but um, with, I think, the ones we did in the summer, maybe. We sometimes ran into students. Yep. And we just got to, like, say hi. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of fun. Or even, like, parents sometimes we said hi to. So that was just, I just really enjoyed that whole thing of getting to drive around the city, yeah. see kind of where students live and yep. also kind of engage with them a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it was fun putting the packages together. And so, yeah, yeah I just loved everything about deliveries. For sure. <laughs> and, and I think I told you this, Hannah, but I was like pulling out of my neighborhood to go to my first like drop off. And because I had like a, uh, an app that told me like where the closest places were and put it in a, in a route. And so I start going out and I turned the wrong way because it was like, no, no, no. There's a, like, it's right behind you. And there was like, there, we have a student that lives like right <laughs> on the next street over for me. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. We're basically neighbors. Yeah. And I had no idea. So that was kind of neat to Okay, so also fun fact, not so fun for me, but oh. so oh, for the no. whole year, I have done oh, these no. deliveries. <laughs> And every time I take like, <laughs> do you know what I'm going to say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every time I take like half an hour probably and put together a map of where I'm going and like put them in order so it, I'm not like driving all over the city in a random order. And then our last deliveries, the most recent ones we did, <laughs> Josh did them as well. And he texts me right before I leave, right after I had mapped out everything. And he goes, oh, yeah, I just like I found this app. You can just put all these addresses in. It just like puts them in an order for you. You're ready to go. It took me like two minutes. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's great, Josh. I'm so sorry. Which I feel like part of it's my fault because I didn't no. research too hard into apps that would help me because that obviously would have been very smart. But anyways, that was just a... Yeah. Fun little side. Yeah. So shout out to that app. I don't <laughs> yeah. even remember what it's called, what like it My Route Planner or something like that. Um, oh, okay, we're down to number two. We're oh there already. Gosh. Yeah, we're okay. here. We so, made it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my my number two. It's actually a little bit of like an inception thing because my in my top five, I have the top five. Uh, because oh. it's the thing we've been doing on Wednesdays. We've been oh, doing yes. this uh, this yeah, thing. Yeah. We've done it three times, I think, in the last like four or five weeks. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's where we've like invited leaders on to our Wednesday night program to do a top five. And they could choose whatever top five they wanted. And so t- we started out having Jared talking about his top five TV shows, Jared Berg. And then Hannah did her top five <laughs> animals. And it was totally prepared a long time ago (laughs) she had it locked in what her favorite animals were you know since she was a child so uh and then we had uh marin last night do her top five starbucks drinks because she works at starbucks she knows the ins and outs of starbucks and so it just a really great way to get to know leaders a little bit of a different way i think when we when we learn things like somebody's top five whatever it is you could name anything any topic i think we still learn something about those people um which i thought that we'd learn from you that you knew your top five animals a long time ago no. but we definitely learned that she had to figure it out minutes before she recorded which we i learned, thought was hilarious and i learned that i sometimes i can do things on the fly yeah who knew yeah oh yeah and you did you did great and and <laughs> another thing we had cody like as a little bit of a gag without saying anything to anybody just pop in for number three and i thought that was hilarious i don't know i i really enjoyed Loved it. it yeah <laughs>
Yeah, I really loved that game. I think, I mean, I had fun filming it. <laughs> but it was also <laughs> really interesting to learn things about other people too. Yeah. Um, and I think, I don't know if you did this conscience, consciously, wow, consciously, <laughs> but I feel like it's something you've talked about for a long time is sure. figuring out a game or something to do to incorporate getting to know leaders yeah. better. Like even before... Yeah we went into COVID like yeah. before we were online at all, mm -hmm. you were already trying to film things with leaders yeah. to try to get to know them better. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool to see that like connecting yeah. even now that like finally we're doing it. Yeah. Like, so yeah, yeah it's kind of fun for sure. Um, okay. So my number two, I guess we're on two mm -hmm. is, so this isn't really a moment. This is more like a, like half of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I really enjoyed, well, I sh yeah, I enjoyed it. And it was honestly, I feel like, really encouraging to me um to be together in person throughout the fall yeah that's my number yeah. two high yeah. it's just that we got to be in person mm -hmm. i remember like the first not even the first like for a lot of those weeks i would leave youth in the evening and be like so energized yeah. being like i love what i do yeah. and it was and i hadn't felt that for a little for while sure. so yeah. it was just so encouraging to be able to see people again and to be like, yeah, to be able to see people and they're like, be around people with their body language. And yep. it's just, it was so much better being in person. Mm -hmm. So not that, and our online stuff has been great. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I can say that because I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I done, think it's You've done great. a ton for the online stuff, so. <laughs> but it's just something better about being in person. Mm. So that was, I just really enjoyed basically all of the fall yeah. being able to be in person. Yeah, it was a nice change. I think everyone was kind of like getting a bit tired near the end of the summer of doing like things online. Like the, again, the alpha program was awesome, but there was a sense of like, oh, we just can't wait to get on site together again. And uh, spoiler alert, we announced this morning, which is so, so today is Thursday. We're announcing uh, Friday morning, Thursday, Thursday afternoon, evening, Friday morning, <laughs> something like that, that we're remaining online for the time being. And like, it's, it is deflating. Like there's, you know, we were excited for, for April 7th to be back on site. And I know for me, like, it, you know, my last youth night before I go on sabbatical, I was really, really, really looking forward to seeing people. Uh, but you know, it's not going to work out and we are just praying and hoping that, uh, our time to come back on site will be soon. And you guys will get to enjoy that while I'm off uh, playing golf or something. So I was going to be like, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, oh, he's playing golf. So I can't even like, <laughs> everybody oh, but wins. Honestly, like <laughs> as much as I'm like really looking forward to this next four months, I would like, I, I would love to see students again. You know, mm -hmm. like it's yeah. something I've, I've really enjoyed. Sorry, we're getting off on a tangent here, but um, <laughs> I've really enjoyed this season of like discovering some kind of creative sides and things in terms of our Wednesday night youth. But there's something just so special about being on site with people. I was excited yeah. for one week and then to go and do yeah. my sabbatical, but but it's not going to happen. The that's fall okay. will just be that much more special. Absolutely, to you when we come back, oh, it'll just it's, be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Really, <laughs> I, I'm really looking forward to it. All right. Okay, Josh. Is it top one? Number one yes. time? Number one. What is your all time best part of youth this past year? Go. So uh, it's our February teaching series. For yeah, wow, for me, for me, I just I loved our February teaching series. Uh, so again, for junior high, we we separated them for for just one month, and I actually didn't like that part. I mm. I would have rather do it together, but there was intentionality behind separating them. And so our awkward series and our more to the story series we did separately, uh, two different premieres, but it was like very very similar content. Um, but it was like there was something really special about this series because it opened up a conversation that I think we've been waiting a while for a youth group to really open up, right? Like we've done, we've done these kind of like love, sex and dating series in the past, but this one, again, like we approached it as a youth team, like really, really intentionally, uh, sending out content to parents ahead of time, um, you know, being really aligned as a teaching team and how we were going to present it. And we were doing the podcast at the same time. Like I thought it was really neat to have like a way to kind of talk about uh, love, sex, and dating as a youth ministry, not only on Wednesday nights, but continue the conversation as in, like in our, on our podcast and to talk about like a lot of the things that, you know, I would say growing up, like there's still a little bit of hurt in the way that the church didn't approach some of these topics. And so I thought it was like a really important step 
to be able to have great, meaningful conversation about it. So I know it seems like odd for my number one, but there was something so like spiritually intentional and, and doing something a little bit deeper. And I think that is representative of like what we've tried to do in this last year as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They were a really great series. I also really, I mean, I only got to listen to half of the messages, but right. the ones that I listened to mm-hmm. were, yeah, were really, really good. Yeah. Um, okay. So my number one, Let's hear it. and okay, before I talk about my number one, I actually just want to say, because I was thinking about this as you were talking yeah. and maybe this is intentional on oh, your part. I don't mm, know, but I just, as we've been kind of recapping things that have happened over the past year, mm. it's, I feel like we've been able to do a lot of things that we've talked about doing for a long time for sure. and just, and didn't do it. Like we've talked about like better communicating and having mm. better, um, February teaching series. Yep. We've talked about that before. Mm-hmm. We've talked about doing a podcast before. We talked about getting to know leaders better over video. Like we've talked about all these things yeah. and we were like, yes, let's definitely do this. And mm-hmm. again, maybe this was your plan that you were like, we were going to do this anyways, but a I just, sneaky plan. I feel like, no, yeah, <laughs> Josh is like, <laughs> my time is here. Um, no, but I feel like as hard as it has been and mm-hmm. as much as we would love to be in person instead of doing the online yeah. things, I think there is something to be said for the fact that it has given us the opportunity to do a lot of things that we all were already planning and wanting to do and believing yeah. that God was taking us in those areas. Mm-hmm. And being online has really just like pushed us even more in those directions. Yeah. And we've done a lot of these things because yeah, I'm thinking back and I'm like, there's a lot of things that we had talked about and now we're actually doing them. Yeah. And we may not have been able to do all these things if we hadn't sure. had to go online. Yeah. I, I think it came down to like, we had time to reflect, yeah. you know, like not that we don't, take time typically throughout like a regular year to, to like pause and reflect on what God is doing and what we can be doing. But we had to be very, very intentional because we saw holes in some of the things that we were doing and some of the ways that our, our connections were a little bit more challenging. And, and again, we had to be more intentional with students throughout this season. And so, yeah, we had to like pause, reflect. And then we also had like, if, if we hadn't have done some of these things, we would be so bored, you know, yeah. because, oh, yeah. because <laughs> you know, we could do the, like we learned early on, we could do the online thing really easily and do kind of like a, a pretty crappy job in it. <laughs> and I shouldn't say a crappy job, but like a normal job. A very but, just like steady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also like, oh man, like we could be doing some really cool things. And I think even still, if we had more time and yeah. more manpower, we could like really do some cool things. Um, and so I'm, I know I'm looking forward again, calling back to my sabbatical, uh, <laughs> to be able to like reflect on a lot more of that stuff over this next like four months. So yeah. yeah. So get ready for the fall, everyone. Cause oh. when Josh comes back, oh my gosh, oh, yeah. things oh, yeah. are going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you get better, get your seatbelts on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my number one, Let's now that it. I've like done this great yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, no, but my number one, and I'm a little bit surprised this actually wasn't on your top five, oh. is the podcast itself. Right. It just, I think it's been so fun. I, yeah, I, we didn't originally plan that I would be the, the like host of most of them, but you are, but it ended up that way. Mm-hmm. And I kind of loved it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've just, I've loved the types of conversations we've been able For to sure. have and being able to talk to different people, the different teachers of the like series. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think for me anyway, has really opened up each teaching and been like, Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't think about it that way. Or, oh, it was interesting that you thought about it this way. Or just been able to have some conversations that like we can't have on a Wednesday night. Yeah. But they're kind of like, they're kind of neat and Mm -hmm. I kind of like them. So yeah, yeah, I've just, I've really loved the process of recording the podcast, but Mm -hmm. then also the process of the conversations that have come out of the podcast and and everything. I just love the podcast. I'm such a fan of it. I'm (laughs) really looking forward to being able to like, because the podcast almost certainly will be something we continue to do for a long time. Like I think we're really, again, we're really enjoying it. I think it's well received. And I think we could, again, get even more creative with it. We thought about like doing the the teaching recap again today. We're like, you know what? It'd be kind of fun just to do something different. And Brie actually suggested- Shout out to Brie. Yeah, shout out to Brie uh, doing a top five or, or whatever. And, and we were like, that's a great idea. Like that's such a fun idea. Plus we get to have a little bit of fun and do things a little bit differently. And so we're trying to think like in the future, what do we do? Uh, you know, Maddie, so she's gonna be taking on, she's actually in the room like right there, uh, <laughs> yeah. but she's gonna be taking on the podcast 
podcast while I'm away on sabbatical and, uh, you know, she'll be able to provide something that, you know, different and a new idea for what the podcast can look like. And I think when I come back in the fall, you know, I'm thinking about just like fun ways to interact with students and, and, but then also having podcasts where we can take things a little bit further than we normally would be able to. So, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, I think it's been, I've been a ton of fun. Yep. Yep. Wow. Well, there you go. That's our top, well, really top 10. Top 10. Moments from the year. From the North Park youth team. Yeah, there you go. Official. (laughs) (laughs) And I feel like it kind of makes you feel hopeful thinking about the future. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, this week has created so many uncertainties for what's coming. That it can be very stressful. But then kind of thinking back on like, wow, we have had a lot of opportunities. And there have been lots of good moments. Kind of like as hard as it, again, we would love to be in person. So Mm -hmm. as hard as it is going to be, it's kind of like, it's going to be okay. It's like there are going to be good, there's going to be good stuff too. Yeah. So it's good to reflect. Absolutely. Reflecting is good. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for tuning into the podcast this week. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a longer episode, but it's been a fun one. Yeah. I have really enjoyed this episode. Same here. And as much as uh, there was a lot of stress that went into the beginning of it, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was kind of fun to be able to do it in person yep. and to have this new setup. And I got to look out the window the whole time. So I, yeah, I really true. can't complain Just watching about cars pass by. I wonder if we saw any of our students pass by in their car. Whoa. Mm, Whoa. If crazy. any of you passed by, Fanshawe Community Church at Fanshawe Community Church. Yeah, we have a new name. (laughs) Uh, North Park Community Church at what time is it? 3 p.m. on Thursday afternoon. We were here and we probably saw you. Hello to you. (laughs) Anyways, (laughs) (laughs) we're going to close it off now. Yeah. Um, So make sure that you are tuning in if you're a junior high. Tune in to Junior High Sunday mornings on Sunday at 9 30 a.m. And for everybody else, still including junior highs, you can tune into youth on Wednesday. Uh, I think we're kicking off a new series. Yeah, on the verge, new teaching series this yes. coming week. It's and, uh, and I'm I'm teaching. Josh so, is teaching, yeah. and it's his last week. So it's if you haven't week. come out for a long time, yeah. come if only to say temporary goodbye to Josh yeah. until <laughs> August. Until August, and then get ready because lots of fun things are coming. Woo. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.